G'day everyone and welcome back to another video here with me at the Australian Reptile Park. Now my name's Dan and I have one of the best jobs in the world, there's no doubt about it. So I'm going to show you something really exciting today. I'm going to introduce you to some of our most venomous snakes that we keep here at the Australian Reptile Park. Not only do we keep snakes for educational purposes, but also too, we extract venom from the five main groups of Australian toxic snakes for the production of anti-venom. Now I hope you enjoy this episode working with our amazing venomous snakes. So I thought, obviously, venomous snakes, why not show you one of my favorite venomous snakes that we have here at the Reptile Park? Now, you can probably hear coming through that mic, that rattle, that iconic rattle sound. Because inside this box is one of our beautiful Western Diamondback rattlesnakes. There we go. Wow. If that is not one of the most amazing snakes on the planet, I don't know what is. I spent a bit of time a couple of years ago out in the southern part of the United States of America looking for western diamondback rattlesnakes and it was one of the best moments of my life when I jumped down into like a drain, I heard this rattle noise and I looked behind me and there was this really nice sized, beautiful western diamondback, the first one I'd ever seen. Now here at the park, this is one of the most fascinating snakes you would ever get to work with. So different to a lot of the other snake species that we have here in Australia. But what makes them so famous is of course that rattle there. What a great way to ward off potential threats or potential predators by rattling your tail as a defense mechanism. Now they have really large fangs and of course you do not want to be bitten by a snake particularly a western diamondback. Because this snake can strike basically on the back of its tail in the blink of an eye it's always safer to use hooks rather than our hands, which is a little bit different to when we're handling some of our other Australian venomous snakes, which you'll see later. So the reason we bring the diamondbacks down into the show pit, just like I'm doing right now, it's a great way for the snake to stretch out, sit under some natural sunlight, but also too, a great way for visitors to see this snake at a safe distance in our show pit. A lot of people are familiar with diamondback rattlesnakes, rattlesnakes in general, and what an incredible specimen to get up close to. All right, just putting the rattlesnake back inside the tub. What an amazing snake. Is that for me? Yeah. Jake keeps trying to read you. Hey, mate. Sorry, I know you're filming with that rattlesnake. I just got that red belly that we've been trying to catch for the last week or so. Out on the back path, out near cassowaries. No way. What timing. All right, well, mate, I've just got this rattlesnake out. Um, do you need anything? I'll bring a hook or something. Yeah, yeah. Hook in a box would be, would be great. Finally got it. All right, mate. I'll grab a box. I'll grab a hook. I'll try and meet you out. Yeah, so up near Casso's, yeah? Yep, yeah, right out there. All right, mate. I'll be out there in a minute. Cheers. Unbelievable timing. Filming a venomous snake video. We've got a wild red belly out the back. All right, I'm going to put the lid on. Let's go give Jake a hand. So it is never a dull moment here at the park. We're actually filming a video about venomous snakes and Jake frantically was trying to radio me to come down because he's finally caught this red belly that's been hanging around our Avery. So uh, I grabbed a box and a hook and I'm gonna go give Jake a hand. These are the moments all the reptile keepers live for whenever we get the radio call to go catch a wild snake. Oh hey, look at that. Finally, it's not that size. No, I'm gonna take a shortcut here. That's a good size red belly. You probably don't want that hanging around the birds too much. So you bring that camera in. This is, we've been trying to get this snake for a couple of weeks. So sometimes these snakes are great. red belly black snakes, they're a very inoffensive species. It has been hanging around the aviaries a little bit, obviously on these warm days. But people also too, visitors, will tell us about the snake. They'll see it in the bushes. And by the time we usually get down here, it's almost always gone. But today, Jake it. was across it. Thanks, mate. Very early morning and uh, he was just sitting in this beautiful patch of sun here just as I was coming out to check those little turtles. So what I think we should do, let's uh, box, get it out the back and we'll just go release it on the back of the bush there. Yeah. Save all the visitors coming through today and all those radio calls. Where do you, box down there? Yeah, yeah down sweet. there. Oh. Yeah, straight in. That is a really nice red belly. It is. Nice and warm? It is, it is. Basking, probably just a young male out, hopefully looking for some girls in the next couple of weeks. Oh, wonderful, wonderful. Oh, let's get him out the back and as I said, away from the park guests. So we're now at the back of the park in this beautiful bush setting that borders the park. We're gonna release this red belly and uh, he can go back to what he was doing just outside of the park grounds. What do you reckon we'll go up here? Yeah. yeah. 
All right, big fella, you've had a bit of fun. Now it's time to let you go. They really are one of Australia's most beautiful snakes. So let's just let him go right through this long grass. There we go, mate. Off you go. All right, we'll let him go. Let's head back. See you, mate. We've had a pretty big morning already. Western Diamond back out in the show pit. Wild Red Belly hanging around the Avery's. So let's step it up again. Uh, I'm gonna milk a venomous snake for you. And this is really important to the reptile park. Uh, very unique to the reptile park. We extract venom from these snakes to help create anti-venom. Our team, dedicated team, Zach, Jake, Kev, Brandon, myself, uh, very passionate about snakes and milking snakes, creating anti-venom saves lives. Can't beat that. So here we have one of Australia's most iconic snakes, the tiger snake, and I'm gonna extract some venom from it. So we place the snake down on this soft pad, get our little restrainer, come behind the snake's head, gently grab a hold. So then we pick him up, we've gently restrained him, and then we'll get the snake to bite onto the vial. Perfect. And at the bottom of that vial is quite a few drops of raw tiger snake venom. Once the snake's bitten down on the vial, we release it very quickly, and that venom will contribute to saving people's lives. And it really is that easy. So now, we're gonna go put him back, back into his enclosure. So you can see how simple the process is. And obviously it doesn't hurt the snake, and now we can contribute to saving around 100 people's lives here in Australia every year. It really is amazing work. I'm gonna take that snake out again, out into the sun. We like to get the snakes out as much as we possibly can and finish off the rest of my day. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Make sure you tune in to the next episode. I'm gonna introduce you to our giant saltwater crocodile, Elvis, and show you what it takes to work with a big salty. See you next time.